Hey YouTube, Andy here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I've just got a couple of bargain, sort of nostalgic retro tech eBay purchases that both came in the mail today. So I'm going to be opening both of these up, and I think they're both going to be in pretty good shape. The pictures look pretty good, but I thought why not make a video about this and, and show it off, and I definitely want to try to make some videos showing more actually with these devices, uh, but for starters we're just going to take a look at them and see what kind of shape they're in. So the smaller one on top, we will start with this. Uh, this is a handspring visor Neo. So this is an old Palm OS PDA running Palm OS 3.5. Uh, and so the reason I bought this, lately I've just been getting into sort of like an old school, I've been on an old school tech swing, and I actually had a very similar uh, handspring visor PDA back in the day. Uh, I didn't have this exact model. I think I had the Deluxe, so it was actually a similar color. This is the Visor Neo, uh, but it had a slower processor and less RAM, or maybe the same processor and less RAM. Uh, a little bit weaker, or less memory. So this has 8 megabytes. Uh, I think my old one had 2. So let's see if we can get into this box. Looks like they put a little bit of tape on the seal, or the seal is somehow not totally broken. Uh, I mean, there were there were pictures of this thing out of the box. So it looks like he just taped it up. Uh, so that was nice. So let's pop this baby open. It is nice that it's the actual box. It's in pretty good shape. A little bit of sticker residue that you can see right there, but not too bad. If we pop it open, layer a bubble wrap. We'll discard that. Uh, and then actually it looks like this guy went to a decent amount of care to make this look pretty nice. So we've got the starting guide, which probably don't need. Uh, this actually is pretty exciting to me. You still have the handspring stickers. Uh, so these are like so old school. I'm gonna find somewhere uh, to put these, probably on one of my ThinkPads, uh, which maybe there's another ThinkPad in there. Uh, the work ThinkPad, somewhere. So those are actually, I'm really excited about the stickers. That's actually, beyond the PDA itself, this is the, the biggest get from this package. Because uh, how often do you get the stickers for that kind of stuff, you know, other than you know, people keep Apple stickers. Uh, we've got a $10 off coupon for their website for handspring.com. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use that. So here's the PDA itself. We'll put that aside because, I don't know, that's how they do it in the unboxing videos. You show the real deal last. We have the charging dock, the hot sink dock. So that's pretty nice. Everything looks like it's in pretty darn good shape so far, except for actually the case around the PDA was a little beat up, but the dock looks like it's in really good shape. I think a lot of this stuff probably didn't get much use. In fact, it looks like the outside of this case is mostly dirty. Let's see if there are any other goodies in here. Um, more paperwork. Uh, no CD, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but that's okay. So it's just some more padding, but that was just where the actual PDA went. So let's pop that out. And here it is. Pretty chunky little guy. Uh, let's get, it's got, right now, just blue on both sides. This is a nice translucent blue, which I like a lot. Um, it's got the plastic cover that pops off the front. And then, there it is, just a Palm PDA. So the screen, uh, it actually looks a little dirty. I don't know how well you can tell that it's not quite as clean, I think, as it could be. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's any actual damage on that. In fact, I think there's a screen protector on here. There is. There's a screen protector on here. Um, so great. What's actually, if you're going to do an unboxing video, uh, you don't expect that with an old, I hope this is a screen protector, yeah. Uh, it says at the bottom, right, right by fellows. So initially I started to peel and I, uh, let's see if this is going to come off nice and easy. There it goes. So. Let's get this on camera. Oh yeah, who doesn't love peeling off a screen protector? So the screen now looks much better. Look at that, it's just reflecting all over the place. Um, yeah, so now I feel really excited. This thing, let's turn around, show the back a little more, is in like new condition, I think, or, or almost like new, it's in very good condition. Uh, so I've got some batteries for this uh, somewhere else, but we're gonna sit this side now and hop into the bigger box, which is a ThinkPad. Let's get this clipped back on. I think that goes the other way. I don't know. 
clip on this is a little unusual, so we'll figure that out later. Uh, let's get this box out of the way. And now we're just going to pop right in to this big guy with our nice eBay tape on it. And this should be a ThinkPad R60. So I've recently gotten into ThinkPads. That's what sort of kicked off my tech nostalgia tour. Though I also like to give Facebook a little bit of credit for that, for just, you know, creeping everyone, you know, the fuck out about technology and making us all wish that we could go back in time a little bit. So, uh, but I was asked to evaluate some ThinkPads. We're switching to ThinkPads at work. Um, pick some out for our guys to use. And so I ended up picking up an X240 for myself. I'm waiting on the IPS screen to come in. Um, so that's been a very nice little notebook for me. Uh, but this is actually an older one because I watched some of LGR Lazy Game Reviews videos on YouTube. And he's kind of just gotten me interested in old software, especially old Windows stuff. Uh, and combined with an interest in ThinkPads, that made it a pretty obvious decision what to look for. So this is a ThinkPad R60. So this is one of the ones that was made during the IBM to Lenovo transition period. Uh, I've got the, I should be showing this stuff, I guess. We've got a knockoff charger, uh, which is fine by me because the guy said it works. He claims the battery charges up to 90% or 98. Uh, we'll see what 98% actually gets you on a battery from a basically 10-year-old laptop. But we've got some nice padding in here. Let's get this box out of the way. Get all of our bubble wrap taken care of. And at the very least, uh, so the pictures on this made it look like it was in pretty much immaculate condition. And pulling it out of the box, I'm feeling pretty much the same way. Um, so if we look at the top... I mean, for, I think I paid $42 for this, uh, plus like another 13 for shipping. Top and bottom, I, you know, other than my own fingerprints, are in very good shape. I guess there are some scratches on the bottom, but really for a laptop of this age, uh, especially a plastic one, even if it is a ThinkPad, not bad at all. Uh, ThinkPad logo in very good shape on the top. There is, I'm noticing right away, I'm not sure if this is, well, yeah, there's a little bit of damage right there. I guess I don't know if that's like where the hard drive... I'm not sure what's in there, if, or if that's just like a vent cover. Looks like it just got dropped right there, and a little bit of damage. Nothing too bad. I can probably fix it up with some glue. Uh, turning it around, we'll let you see the other side. That side looks pretty darn good to me. Uh, the back, we've got power. Everything back there looks good. And the front was good. We've got just our latch, and actually, is that not closed all the way? So, it does look like the bottom of this is a little dinged up. Or no, that's the bezel. Ooh, that. Yeah, so that was not, I think, really visible or disclosed. I'm not sure if this got damaged. Now, I'm in shipping or not, I'm going to grab the camera and get it down here a little bit because the screen is, the bezel is jacked up. Um, so the eBay seller definitely did not mention that. Um, and that was not visible in the pictures. I mean, I might see what I can do. Uh, I'm not sure if that happened in shipping or what, but that does not look pretty. Um, other than that, it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Uh, keyboard is pretty dusty, uh, but all the keys look like they're in good shape. Not much wear on any of the keys or on the trackpad. So this guy, definitely this bezel. Yeah, this top bezel, there's no way this just happened during shipping. Uh, I mean, I don't think so. Maybe it's it had a really rough trip, but it was reasonably well packed, and this top bezel is pretty darn beat up. Uh, so that's a little bit of a disappointment, but it looks like it's in great shape. Let's see if it powers on. Yeah, it's powering on right out of the box. We'll see if we can, uh, there we go. So yeah, it's powering on, it's booting up, it's got Windows XP, I've got the password right there. So I'm actually probably going to install the like the the kiosk version of windows xp windows xp embedded like the pos ready 2009 one uh, just because that's basically windows xp but it's still getting security updates until next year i think till 2019 
So, yeah, it definitely works. Um, you know, really, for my purposes, I might... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to send it back. Hopefully, I'm not sure how easy it is to find a replacement bezel on an R60. Uh, so hopefully I can find a replacement bezel. Otherwise, I'll probably just live with it because really this, this computer I bought mostly to be, I'm just going to adjust the camera, mostly as, like I said, sort of playing around with old software. And I've been on this sort of tech nostalgia bend lately. So here we go. I've got an old Windows XP ThinkPad. And I've got the Handspring Visor Neo. So some new toys to play with. I just wanted to make a quick video showing this stuff off. And I'll probably make some further stuff. Actually playing around, especially really the Handspring Neo. That's the one uh, I'm actually pretty excited about. Just seeing what I can pull off with this and how, how modern I can make it. It does have the springboard module. So it's almost like a Game Boy slot. Uh, that you can add on. There's a GPS edition. There is a Wi-Fi module, which is pretty pricey, and I've read a lot that it only supports like WEP. So it might be a challenge to get it to connect to any sort of modern Wi-Fi network. Uh, but that's definitely something that I could play around with. Maybe set up a guest network that's that's totally unencrypted and totally open. The stylus is there. Uh, so the Visor Neo in very good shape. Think bad and a little bit of disappointing condition though. It's been up for a couple minutes now and the battery's still holding, so that's pretty impressive for a 10-year-old machine. Uh, well, that will be it for now, but check back in. I should have some updates on both of these devices coming pretty soon. Thanks for watching.